now web based development like you said that uh, you are really interested in the web development or the knowledge and learning purpose yeah yes so the lo1 simply was the introduction to the, you know uh, html and the concept of the client server architecture and we discussed about you know the difference between the client scripting and the server scripting yeah and yeah. Uh, we discussed about the options available to us like on the client side there is a java uh, javascript and uh, ajax yeah and yeah. Uh, you know few more thing like uh, uh, you know another version of the javascript which was used on the server and the client so few of the options you know we discussed available yeah Absolutely. and then we did give a you know kind of uh, idea of uh, service oriented architecture yeah and uh, the service oriented architecture was based on you know the uh, idea of uh, a triangle yeah you remember it uh, yes yeah and the service oriented architecture is basically a kind of uh, utility computing or the cloud computing a new concept of the service yeah where yeah. where you use the resources as a service instead of you know buying the resources and keeping the ownership of the resources you are hiring the services yeah yeah so uh, in lo3 there is again a kind of little bit discussion about the web services and then we can little bit discuss more on it yeah however uh, today we will be discussing the multimedia techniques like you know how to use the multimedia items like uh, image audio video into the web page and uh, some techniques for you know the seo and uh, we'll talk about the how to develop a web based solution and accessibility and usability issues yeah okay so more or less you know uh, approximately they try the indicative contents you know is basically wants you to be able to construct a web solution yeah then yeah. integrate e marketing techniques yeah and then you know create a database uh, you know behind it obviously and this is basically 3.1 is you know connected with a uh, you know 3.1 isn't it that's correct yes yeah and uh, probably 3.4 integrating multimedia content is also you know maybe before and uh, let's say you know the uh, integrating e marketing should have been done you know the last topic isn't it that's correct yeah yeah so no worries uh, let us you know do one by one uh, so there are certain uh, things we need to consider that uh, building a website is basically the web development yeah and deploying on the web yeah mm -hmm. so uh, we need to think about something when we really want to uh, require for example we need uh, any language we need a server we need uh, the requirements so what we need to know like what to put on the website yeah so yeah, yeah. who will host it like i said the re server that which server you would need it how to make it interactive how to code it how to create a search engine friendly website how to secure the source code fre uh, frequently uh, 
Will the website design display well in different browsers? Will the navigation menus be easy to use? Will the website uh, loads quickly? How easily will the site pages print? How easily will visitors find important details specific to the website? How effectively the style sheets be used on your website? For example, if you go back to the past, yeah, then uh, for for example, if you you are you were supposed to create a website, could you imagine these questions? Uh, I think it would be more of a sort of technical architect. Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, uh, if we wanted to go ahead with a uh, development, then probably these questions should have been a checklist explicitly. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, for example. If you are not, uh, you know, experienced or you know the current developer of the website, yeah, and uh, you have been given the task, and uh, obviously we are learning, you know, uh, we assume that we are in a learning process, yeah, so that we could, you know, use these techniques, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah. these questions really give a value for the development, isn't it? That's correct, yeah. Yeah. So that's the main thing that you need to uh, ask yourself. And if you have these questions answered, then you know you can develop well and very well, isn't it? Yeah. 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 So this one, this one is the slide for web development, and obviously the development pro pro uh, process would include. You should have some purpose. You need to plan, then design, then you know gather the content for your website, and then build, then test it, and then upload to the server, and then market and maintain. Yeah. Yeah. So that's basically the uh, idea behind uh, design. Yeah, and the process of the web development. Yeah. Yeah. So literally, it's a kind of theoretical, just few points. Yeah. But what I believe, without these uh, questions and without this sequence, one cannot go on the right direction, isn't it? That's correct. Yeah. Yeah. So to the some of the you know uh, just just you know the uh, something about these two topics. Yeah. So let us move to the further one. Then, uh, you know, when it comes to you that you have to work on the, uh, you decided you are, uh, you know, you have questions to, uh, answers to all questions, then you come to the web interface design that how your website should look like, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So you should have a good understanding of the user needs, basically. Yeah. So it's not the case that what you like, yeah, what you like your website to be seen, but what the users needs, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. For example, uh, have you tried, you know, the YouTube Creator Studio? Hey, I don't I don't think I have actually no. Yeah. Basically in the YouTube Creator Studio when you have you when you create a YouTube channel, yeah. And uh, it's been, you know, long time since 6 months uh, they are, you know, uh putting the account every time on the new interface beta, yeah. And it is really, you know, annoying basically. Yeah, it's good. It seems good, but every time when you switch into the classic, you know, uh, studio, then they ask, yeah, that what is the reason? Whether it is not working good or you don't like it? Yeah, something is missing. Yeah, but every time during their testing, I refuse that I I give the you know reasons, uh, you know that sometime other reasons, 
but web interface i don't like the web interface so user needs yeah are important yeah yes very much so yeah very much yeah if the user is happy you need to you know uh, uh, listen to them yeah so the processing the user interface uh, interface design and some of which are more demanded upon the others yeah so needs if they if even if they are you know demanding you know they are thinking that uh, the new look is good but again again they are you know asking the question why you don't like this then the demand can force them to have the user interface design you know according isn't it yeah correct yes yeah so for few more points functionality requirement gathering yeah you need to have a list of functionality makes sense yeah that what functionality you need and uh, that the potential users need it yeah then uh, user and task analysis the analysis of the potential users of the system by studying how they perform the task huh? yeah and uh, that the design must support conducting interviews to uh, reveal their goals yeah so how they perform the way we want to perform for, for example there could be many ways to reach a particular functionality to particular you know uh, uh section of the website yeah it's not necessary that the web developer may think that uh, this is be better and easy idea but the user analysis is most important that how they use isn't it that's right yeah then typical questions you can ask yourself that what would the user want the system to do then how would the system fit in the fit in with the user's normal flow or daily activities like i explained it it's not necessary that uh, your development advises any particular way but users directly you know for example uh, they only want to see the page status or you know the comments on their youtube channel then directly you know there is no need to give you know more classification of the data accounts and other things directly you know they need to provide the flow to the comments for example isn't it that's right yeah how technically savvy is the user savvy is you know the uh, knowledgeable uh, the user and what similar systems does the user already use so obviously you know you need to think about it uh, whether the user is you know for which type of the user you are building the website isn't it that's correct yes some of the websites like you know uh, developer pro yeah or you know a pro things you know are always for example for the uh, experienced users some of the web web you know components some packages of uh, let's say uploading the systems yeah uploading the websites yeah and obviously they require you know a kind of uh, professional uh, knowledge isn't it that's right yeah yeah so the web interface require you to think you know intelligently what you need and for which type of user you need yeah then you should have you know the information architecture the development of process and uh, information flow yeah you should be able to produce the prototype yeah and you should be able to inspect the usability let uh, letting an evaluator inspect a user interface yeah yeah then common usability inspection methods include cognitive walk through heuristic evaluation and uh, pluralistic walk through yeah and there is you know human computer interaction unit as well a subject yeah, yeah. i yeah. think it's in the level 4 or the, yeah so in level 4 that you know unit 
and the subject teaches you how the creativity of interaction or the creative interaction methods should be you know implemented yeah so it's a, it's a kind of you know kind of uh, uh, psychological or you know the social yeah so the psychological how the mental you know approaches you know accept it yeah 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 sometimes right. yeah sometimes you mentally like the interface yeah and uh, so how the usability involves the cognitive work through says it focuses on the simplicity to accomplish tasks with the system for the new users yeah so you should think about its simplicity which is the cognitive yeah then yeah. heuristic evaluation is the set of heuristics are used to identify usability problems in the user interface design so basically uh, you need to apply some kind of uh, small test yeah, yeah. Uh, heuristically to know the problems there's another you know the uh, usability inspection test yeah a pluralist, pluralistic walk through which is basically in which selected group of people step through a task scenario and discuss usability issues yeah so it's a big basically topic yeah and uh, you need to look at the nature of you know the access yeah and further like i explained that the human computer interaction unit this you know can be studied and further these you know kind of uh, usability inspections could be discussed in more detail but here we are only you know just giving an idea that all these things you know involved in the web interface design yeah 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 but like we are you know for example skipping the details here but when you really are assigned a task then you definitely need to go through these you know recommendations anyhow isn't it yes yes definitely yeah. definitely and these may be useful for you for future as well and maybe some announcements could be done into this but definitely one for example you are claiming that you have studied the modules like a web development you know as well then the web development you know unit contents you know encourages you to uh, utilize your skills for example these skills and these skills are a kind of you know a literature and literary knowledge to you isn't it yes that's right yeah good then usability testing usability testing is further you want to test it you produce a prototype isn't it that's right yeah then user interface design test uh, allows the designer to understand the reception of the design from viewers stand viewers stand point so it's not only the case what you design but how the viewer is you know uh, testing the user interface yeah yeah and graphical user interface yeah that actually what final graphics you have added into the uh, user interface and this could be you know done after researching and uh, refined to fix any usability problems at all yeah yeah, yeah. so you you should be able to test the user interface and you should be able to finalize the graphical user interface and overall this should have been done using a user research yeah why why user research so like you know i explained earlier that for every user in the youtube you know you assume there would be millions of the users of the facebook and especially uh, you know maybe the trillion trillions are you know the maximum number of users in the world for the youtube and for those who have got their accounts they want to log in yeah 
and uh, they want to see that how their statistics show that how many videos are being watched and you, know, you must know that there is a you know user account behind the youtube isn't it oh yeah 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 so those accounts those user interfaces needs to be researched yeah though and finalized after fixing the bugs yeah yeah so it yeah. shouldn't be the case that you produce one thing and that's final no yeah so this should have been evolved by the passage of time yeah okay, now yeah. now what the accessibility issues can be let us see you know what are the accessibility issues you try to assume that you should have a good user interface but still you need to uh, dig out the problems web accessibility refers to the inclusive practice of removing barriers that prevent the interaction with or access to the site by people with the disabilities yeah disabilities in in a sense no matter you know if they are a good uh, computer users but for obviously the eyesight can be issue the timing can be the issue the uh, interactivity or using the mouse cursor can be the issue isn't it that's correct yes like what i believe and i remember like old age people those who didn't use the computer in their life yeah they take about what i believe maybe days weeks or months to use the mouse isn't it that's right yeah yeah so really depends that uh, maybe the how capable people are live depending on the capability of the people and uh, then you need to think about that how they should be they would be accessing so when the sites are correctly designed developed and edited all users have equal access to information and functionality yeah like yeah. Uh, if we take the example of the government govt.co.uk yeah they have really you know done very well you know regarding the accessibility do you agree yeah. oh yeah yeah they they, they they i think won one awards for innovation on their website sorry I say is the the dot gov website won awards for their um for for their innovation of the website yeah and uh, like uh, you know every department has the same user interface yeah and uh, the way they ask you know they give a kind of you know links and then you know there is a big start button and they take you to the options and the big you know uh, fonts the uh you know radio boxes check boxes they clearly you know appeal you yeah and uh, no one can escape the necessary information while using the website isn't it that's right yeah yeah so ne you need to consider those things so it is because of some of the issues which is for example one of the, them like a visible focus like web browsers needs to show users with elements of the site has focus be at a link uh, an image or a form or some other elements yeah so yeah, yeah so focus visible focus that where where you are you know you are where you want to you know navigate yeah and uh, whether if you want to navigate whether it is selected by default or not yeah so visible focus should not distract you from actual navigation of the item make sense mm -hmm. or element yeah yeah then alternative text for images it's also the technique like you know when you hover any uh, hover the mouse on a particular image then it should give you more information that what the image is about have you ever got the chance to see the alternative text for the image um i, I haven't no yeah 
so it is you know uh, it is a good practice that uh, most of the time uh, you know the pictures used into you know the web pages and uh, they could be given the description for example uh, there are you know the 10 pictures of 10 animals into a web page yeah then you can explicitly write down the text below the picture but you can also use the hua yeah to give a little you know a uh, little tip of the information about the text which is called the alternative text for the images yep yeah yeah did you get it yes yes yeah, I think I think now I have. Uh, yeah, I understand what you mean now. Yes, uh, so yeah. you hover yeah. over and it, and it explains what it is. Yeah, like this. Can you see that this is written Google, but again, you know, the alternative text is written as a Google. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a just you know recommendation that you should include the alternative text text as well for accessibility issues. Yeah. Yep. Then you know captcha. You know the captcha. They want to, uh, you know, the because what happens? It comes to the accessing the website not by the robots. What happens? You know, uh, the websites are being accessed or can be accessed using computers as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, when they re uh, when they really want a human computer to access it, then you they you know ask to use the captcha. Yeah, you got uh, have you got the experience of the captcha? Oh, very much so. Uh, yeah. It's quite it's quite common now. Yeah, it's quite common, but it has the problem of the accessibility that they try to do. You know what is the Technique behind using the captcha, uh, you know, picture. Ah, it's, it's so it can validate that a user is is the one that's accessing the website. Yeah, to validate the user, the uh, validate the user. But why they, you know, use the fonts always, you know, in irregular, uh, you know, writing. Ah, uh, it's so um, it's so a computer can't read it. Yes. So what happens that uh, there is a field, uh, you know, in computer which is the uh, NLP, yeah, natural language processing, yeah, yeah. natural language processing, and further there is a you know the field image recognition. Yeah. Yep. And there is a field which is the text recognition. Yeah. So mm -hmm. some of the software, some of the intelligent tools, if you give them, you know, the an image, then you can get the text from the image. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. the automatic, you know, the uh, the CCTV cameras and the software behind they are able to extract the number plates of a car. Yep, yep. Yeah. We notice, you know, that uh, in, uh, you know, speed cameras are nowadays, you know, on the parking, when you going to, you are going to park at, let's say, service stations, then automatic number plate detection. Yeah? Yep. So, automatic number plate detection is the technique behind the you know OCR op optical character readers the OCRs are being used behind yeah mm -hmm. and uh, but there is a limit behind it the particular OCRs are designed for specific fonts yeah and uh, for example you won't be allowed to use any you know other font on your car number plane yeah, other than the standard font, isn't it? Yes, that's right, yeah. Yeah, 
so there is again you know a kind of uh, some restrictions on using the number plate same way the kepcha tries to use a non standard font which should look like a kind of handwriting yeah so that its pattern should not be recognized by the computer yeah 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 so this idea behind you know the accessibility issues that it comes when it comes to introduce the captcha then it is useful but it it should not be that much you know complicated isn't it some of the website they have easy captcha yeah and some of them have really very difficult you know captcha and uh, uh, we always try to struggle to enter you know those captchas captchas isn't it yeah yeah the ones where it where it's got the pictures um yeah sometimes picture sometimes fonts you know you uh, mistype and, and you always try to come to next well then furthermore the w3 yeah uh, w3c is a consortium basically worldwide web consortium yeah yep. and they have given some kind of standard uh, you know check check points for web accessibility guidelines yeah so, so for example you can say that this particular website you know fulfills completely the you know uh, standards of w3c so they say does the keyboard keyboard provide access to navigation in particular tape so this is one point second point using the keyboard for navigation it's not uh, obviously we nowadays we are we only use and most of the time we use you know the uh our touch screens yeah and mostly the pointer but the systems and the websites can also be used via keyboard as well isn't it that's right yeah yeah then do all elements like links radio buttons blah blah work when selected and so these are basically 10 20 you know uh points that you need to make sure yeah that uh, they should have been implemented. Yeah, is it okay? I should go further. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah. Then some of the usability issues also, you know, you should be aware of. Don't use pop-ups. Yeah. Now we are we we were discussing the accessibility. Yeah. To so make sure the accessibility. Yeah. Now the usability is that. Uh, uh, the things should be useful for them yeah so avoid the uh, pop-ups don't change the user window size within the uh, you know web page don't use too, too small font sizes yeah and uh, don't have an unclear link text don't have a dead links and have at most uh, one animation per page yeah and then uh, make it easy to contact you links open to the open in the same window so these are certain you know uh, suggestions in order to avoid any usability issues yeah yeah now seo search engine optimization yeah so you definitely should have some knowledge of search engine optimization uh, you know before yeah 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 so can you explain to me what is that? Yeah, so search engine optimization is about um, ensuring that your web page can essentially be picked up uh, a lot easier by search engines. So for instance, um, yeah. if, you're selling, if you're selling apples, okay, um, yeah. then then you would you would use keywords and, and things that would uh, enable your website to come top of the list yeah good and there are two types of the seo and do you know further about it um uh, just just other than what i've told you um okay when is the off page and on page or online seo or offline seo a uh, uh, i'm not aware of that could you explain okay. that yeah okay we further you know go into this detail yeah for a while i believe that this uh, the uh, 
topic may be in this this LO or next LO, but let us make it you know uh, clear as well. So what happens uh, when you do uh, one kind? You try to optimize, do everything into your web page. Yeah. For example, you you the definition of the keywords, the design and the content, the metadata, the data about the data, so that the search engine should be able to search and index your website appropriately. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's the online, yeah. And the offline is that uh, you know you are not touching, yeah, uh, the your website, but you are creating the links to your website into other sources of information or other sources of website. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So what would happen the even if the your website is not well designed yeah for example you are selling a particular brand of shoes yeah which is mm -hmm. which has a very bad you know website yeah which does not have a good seo it does not have a good you know uh, information given for the search engines yeah but for example your your brand is being discussed on the different platforms yeah different you know uh, websites they have a link your name is there yeah then mm -hmm. automatically willingly or unwillingly uh, for example your brand name you know would be served to the search engines on the first yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because of the, you know, offline, uh, you know, SEO. Yeah. So yeah. sometimes you do this technique, you know, by yourself. Yeah. Explicitly, and sometimes you get it done automatically because if your brand became, you know, popular. Yeah. And. Mm -hmm. uh, then you don't need to do on your own, but but the people would be discussing and they would make it viral, isn't it? That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So SEO, you need to have some. That was a kind of you know the default. But let us see what strategies you need to do in order your website should be should have a good ranking. So for, first is define your target audience and their interest. So you should be able to know that whom you want to target. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the next step is categorize the keyword research. Yeah. So what is your brand and what keywords people can search with? Yeah. And uh, for example, if you have a, you know, if you are dealing in shoes, then probably they can search about, you know, the footwear. Isn't it? Yes, that's right. So one thing can have a different two, three, you know, uh, names, and that's called the metadata, the data about data. It's a little bit big topic, yeah, for the discussion on the keywords and the and the semantics, yeah, and uh, how do you need to add the meaning to your web pages? Probably the last time we discussed the. RDF resource framework resource development framework. Yeah, so it comes into the semantic web. Yeah, it's a big topic, but this needs to be done. You need to understand the keywords. Yeah, then finding the gaps and the opportunities like I explained that it could be the reason that uh, your website uh, you know has enough information, but it is not popular and it is not linked in on the other websites Then it could you need to focus on the offline SEO, isn't it? Yeah, and yeah. sometimes it could be the reason for example opportunity you have an opportunity that uh, your brand 
or your website doesn't have any good content yeah but mm -hmm. still it is you know being uh, you know ranked and used and uh, you know uh, reference there is a term basically when they they call it you know the uh, when they list explicitly into their website then there is a term behind so backlinks yeah so if you have more number of backlinks to your website and uh, then it, it would give you a more opportunity yeah Uh, yes, yes. Yeah. So you need to really work that where is the gap, where is the opportunity, then you you need to define the comp competitors that in which competition you, uh, who is your competitor, how they market, and then spying on, you know, your competitors that how they market, what products, you know, they are selling, what prices they are, you know, selling, and probably you can reduce a penny and that it can in increase your sale, isn't it? Yes, that's right. Yeah. So furthermore, that was the strategy basically. Yeah. Uh, some general strategy strategies that you need to work on, and then certain techniques also involved. So I'm not sure, you know, that uh, the difference between the strategy and technique. But however, the strategy is a kind of general plan. Yeah. And the technique is a kind of more technical, you know, implementation of the strategy. Yeah. So uh, there are there is there are lots of you know sources who explain and advise the techniques basically. So like the link here, yeah, uh, you know, uh, gives you about 19 techniques in order to SEO your website yeah so it's a big you know discussion and uh, I think I need to skip uh, this and for you to study on your own yeah 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 that, that, that's that's such no problem thanks yeah now now the last two topics let me double confirm uh, you know the is SEO is done and then server side development and the multimedia integration. So the multimedia integration is basically, let me explain to you in simple, that uh, you know how to use the HTML, how to create the, you know, uh, how to put an image into web page. So how you put like, do you know? Yes, yeah, so if you want to put an image on a web page, uh, you you do it as part of um, you do it as part of HTML. Yeah. You could do it. You could do it as a div. Yeah, a div div is a you know extended you know more extended uh, uh, tag. But img space is equal to src. Then you use you know the address of the image, and then you are done. Yeah. That's correct, yeah. Yeah. So some the rest of the slides, you know, are on the you know how to you know use the image, how to insert, embed the video, audio, yeah, and uh, uh, discussion on the web services. Like I explained earlier, the you know service oriented architecture. You need the UDDI, which is the registry where you you know list the website and you use the SOAP simple object access protocol for the accessibility using the web services and uh, you describe your web service using the web service description language. Do you remember this? We discussed in the previous LO. Uh, uh, oh yeah, 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 we did, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, in the client server idea and there was a uh, you know, we did it in you know the uh, LO one, yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah, XML and WSDL. Yeah. Yeah, they yeah. have they have again, you know, uh, given a chance because they are asking you to uh, create a you know web based solution. Possibly you could use the web services as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So for the assignment point of view, to be honest. Uh, apart from the web services, if you would be able to create a web based solution based on only one, you know, an independent, normal, conventional client and server like in PHP or, you know, the WAMP, yeah, it should be sufficient. Okay. Yeah, I, I was I was thinking about uh, maybe doing doing it in Flask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything, yeah. So, and let us conclude the today's session and let me give you a little more idea about it. Yeah. So, uh, we are here. So, what we discussed today is. SEO techniques, yeah, and how you need to start the development and uh, web service things, you know, I explained earlier and we dis discussed earlier. Now we have to select a web server basically, yeah. Mm -hmm. So the web server uh, is a basically the web development, yeah, and I'm not sure maybe the options available, uh, you know, whatever the web server you select, one of them is a web web server. Yeah, have you heard about the web server? Um, oh, a, a long time ago. Yeah, the only its beautification is that it's a freeware. Yeah, it uses the Apache, you know, server. Yeah, it uses the PHP language, and it uses the backend database as a MySQL server. Yeah, okay, so okay. it gives you everything in one installation. Let's say web server 2.0. Yeah, there is another ser the LAMP server, LAMP as well. Yeah, from the Linux. Yeah, they also give you a kind of these, you know, integrated solutions. There is another server which is the I Windows II ISS server. Have you heard about it? Uh, what Windows? Uh, I don't think I have. Uh, IIS server. Uh, like there is an option of the servers basically that you can use the Windows IIS server. You can use the WAMP server. You yeah, can yeah. use the LAMP server. Yeah. WAMP and LAMP they come in integration with the existing and the built-in uh, you know MySQL database. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, and if you are using the Windows IIS server, then you need to choose the database. You need to install the database on your own. Yeah, and then you need to create a connectivity. If you want to use the, uh, you know, PHP server on its own, the alone, then you need to install the database server again. Maybe you can use the Oracle SQL server independently and then connect it. Yeah. You can use the JSP Java server pages, which comes with the servlets. Yeah. And then uh, you can use the independent, uh, you know, the database as well. Yeah. So the idea behind this is that uh, you have to, you, you should have the knowledge of server side development independently and as a framework like the frameworks which provide you you know the uh, server as well as backend development did you get it uh, yes that's right it's, it's got to yeah. be a combination of all things yeah sorry it's, it's got to be a combination of, of all things definitely like you know the for the starter purpose for example for the assignment purpose, you can quickly, if, for example, if you have the limitation of the resources, like, you know, if you are struggling to install the server, 
the server itself yeah and uh, if you are you know uh, supposed to install the database independently then combination for example the web server or the lem server would be good and uh, if you want to work out independently then uh, you can install the java server or php server independently for example mm -hmm. And even you can use the MS Access file as a database for your server application as well. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So what you need to do again, you need to store your database file, you know, MS Access. Yeah. Now imagine that it's not only the case that uh, uh, the, for the backend, the Oracle or the SQL Server is used, but even the MS Access uh, uh, have been used, you know, as well. Uh, has been used, you know, uh, with these, you know, applications. Yeah. Did you imagine yeah. ever? Um, I, 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 I've used it before, but I, I prefer a Postgres. That's good. Yeah. So the options, you know, the the options. Uh, are available to you for the learning purpose or for the assignment, you know, purpose, you can choose uh, either either the framework, which should give you, you know, the integrated the database or you can, you know, assume that you are using, let's say, particular, you know, the PHP server, maybe the obviously the IIS, IIS server, Windows information, you know, the uh, Windows Server, the IIS is from the Windows, yeah. So you can run the PHP on it, or if you would prefer any Apache, and the a, Apache is a very flexible. It has a lots of varieties, so it would give you a normal, in, you know, the web server as well as a web services, you know, framework. Yeah. Yeah. Um so, 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 sorry, I just 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 a quick question. Um, yeah. In in terms of 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 this assignment where I have to 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 develop a web page and a back end and all that thing, and in terms of the assessment, um, yeah. do, do, do I need to give the the files so that do 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 do, do, you, do you assess as well as tutor? Uh, I I assess as well. We have it, you know. Uh, yeah. Okay, no, it's fine. It was just um, so when I hand over my files to to, to run the application, that yeah. I have to say it's in Python. Here's the code. Um, yeah, basically you don't need to hand over the code at all. Okay, just 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 demonstrate really. Yeah, demonstration and uh, the explanation and the guidance as well as if you want to include the code as well then you can always add the code into the appendix of each you know unit okay yeah no, no, no that's fine it was just um i was just thinking of the best way to to, to do that yeah. No, yeah yeah so the best way is to illustrate give the explanation of your solution in written the reason is that uh, it needs to be explained and the document the way it's not only the uh, me as a tutor but it has to go through uh, for example as a tutor first yeah as a first assessor then the iv the internal verifier yeah and then the qa the quality assurance uh, you know focal person in and then the ev the external verifier which is the awarding body yeah so if mm -hmm. we wanted to give them the evidence of your you know uh, 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 formal submission then it's you who needs to explain the things into the document yeah that you gave you created this for example into this tech in this you know particular technology you took the screenshot here is the server yeah and here is the uh, screenshot of the running server that's sufficient basically okay no, no that's that's great yeah so uh unfortunately you know uh because of the time limit 
we may not be able to go into the detail of these you know server side uh, any sample you know uh, today yeah that how how to install the server and to test it or something like that but you can try yeah uh, and you can select any one server on your own and see how the things go and uh, the information and the tutorials are available for every kind of you know the programming language isn't it yeah, I, 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 I just uh, I just tried a, a, a hello world in Flask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely, you give it a try and uh, finalize that what you would be using for the illustration purpose of the assignment. Yeah, so that you can uh, show the scenario that how you designed, how you implemented, how you tested. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So uh, to the topics were, you know, few of them today, but uh, the details of those topics is already given in these slides. You can go through each and every slide if you want. Yeah. And uh, feel free to ask any questions if you have any question from these slides. How, however, overall, what we have discussed today is the you plan to design the website you keep in mind how you want to seo as well as how you want to implement it which is the server side and by selecting any server and the backend database you come up with a kind of solution and uh, then you will be done yeah obviously you will be using the multimedia sql into your solution yeah yeah and uh, you would be applying you know these things all together yeah and the advanced topic is the web services so at this stage uh, you know the web services might be a very advanced you know uh, implementation of your web server i would say the normal web server you know is the easier thing and the web service implementation is little bit advanced but for you know your understanding and knowledge i would recommend you to must look at you know these web service implementation after you are done with your uh, normal web server yep yep yeah so you know why because today in today's world today's internet world the web services are you know being developed that's right yeah. yeah how web services because it's not only the one web web server it's the combination of the web servers where they communicate each other yeah so yeah. Uh, i leave with you this topic of the web service you further explore have experience into the web development and uh, you know uh, we will i would see you next time next week again yeah excellent thank you ajay all right Okay, that's fine. Thank you very much and uh, bye for now. Yeah. Okay. Good evening. Bye. Thanks. Bye. bye.